All right, we can now start the stream. All right, up next is the press conference for the Women's 800. We are offering simultaneous interpretation in English and French. You can scan the QR codes on the side of the wall or see one of our volunteers to get logged in to the translation services. We're also offering consecutive translation in Amharic. Let's meet the medalist from tonight. The bronze medalist bringing Kenya its fifth medal in this event with a time of 157.42. Mary Mora. The silver medalist, Ethiopia's first ever medal in the 800 meters with a time of 157.15, Sige Deguma. And the gold medalist, the first gold in this event for Great Britain since 2004 with a time of 156.72, Keeley Hodgkinson. We'll now open the floor for questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll bring the mic to you. And please state your name and your outlet before you talk, right here in the middle. Keely, congratulations, Sean Engel from The Guardian. Um, two questions, sorry, one from my desk. Do you prefer to be called being from Wigan or from Atherton? Really sorry, but that it's caused the <laughs> ructions in The Guardian, so would you clarify? And secondly, was there any moment in that race that you thought you weren't gonna win? And when was the moment you knew you were gonna win? Thank you. Um, Atherton, because that is where I'm from. Uh, it's a small town, but yeah, we're mighty in its sense. But um, I think for me, with the caliber that we have in the women's 800, nothing is cemented until you've crossed the line. I always believed in myself, but yeah, until you've actually done it, it's nothing is written. So yeah. Hi, Keely. Rob Wall from The Sun. Um, you're not racing till quarter to ten at night. Mm. It's the best day of your life. But what do you, can you just give us an insight about what you've done in the hours? You know, what time did you get up? How did you eat? How did you feel? What can you do to take your mind off this momentous two laps you have to negotiate? Um, it is very difficult. I think after racing as well last night and coming down from the caffeine and the energy it takes to get up for a semi-final at the Olympics is one thing. Um, I basically stayed in bed all day today trying to conserve as much energy as possible. I think that's the only thing you can do. Took a good two-hour nap because I was tired. <laughs> um, just hoping that I had enough in the legs to come back and do it today. So, yeah. That is what, that's the glamour behind um, Olympic medal. Right here. Hi, Kitty. Well, well done tonight. Um, when you come into this Games, perhaps as you did differently to previous championships, mm. with more of an expectation to win, like when you're talking about lying in bed today, what, are you, what is going through your mind? Is it terror or is it... Can you actually comp compartmentalise it and, and just get through the day and deliver? Because I noticed one thing you did differently tonight was you always take a bottle of water to the start stand and you, and you dumped it en route. And I just thought that was, I don't know, it just seemed, it just seemed like everything was different about tonight. Ah, oh, unfortunately I knew they were going to take it off me, so I just thought I'd hand it them early. But... um. Yeah, no, I well, it's not something that I haven't done before, a global final. Fortunately, I was able to make another one, so I have been here before. Um, it's difficult to switch off, I'm not going to lie. You know, you're thinking about how it's going to go all day, and, and it's a long day, but the hours do go by pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, all you've got to do is wait for your moment and just try and get as prepared as you possibly can. I can't quite point to words what goes through your head. I think everybody's kind of different. Um, but I was really excited for tonight, along with, you know, you are going to be nervous, that's completely normal. It's just channeling them in the right way and not letting it take too much energy from you. Hi, Gilly, Jeremy Wilson from The Telegraph. Um, congratulations. I just wondered, during the race, what, what did you feel like was the decisive decision that you made? Was it, was it sort of hitting the front relatively early, or, or, or what do you think, think it was the key? Um, I think for me, I just wanted to get out hard. A lot of these girls got out hard as well, and I think it was going to be a bit of a battle to get in a position, which I think it was. Um, yeah, it didn't quite pan out how I thought it was going to be, but that's 800 meter racing for you. I just wanted to stay out of trouble. Um, because it can be quite brutal out there sometimes. And yeah, I just uh, stuck to my lane, kept composed, and kept kicking for that line. Mary Keeley went right to the front at the beginning of the race. 
How did you keep yourself in a position to meddle, and what were your thoughts when she went right out front? Uh, I can say, when you are in a list, you should do, expect anything, because all of us we are women, and we have been training for the last three years. We have been targeting Olympics, and uh, when we are uh, all of us in the stadium, uh, we are uh, strong, and uh, we have only three, three medals, gold, silver, and the bronze. So my big target was to finish in the podium, and uh, I'm happy for everything. Sige, you've had to set two personal bests, one in the semis and another tonight to end up on the podium. Can you talk about what these last few days have been like for you? It's my first, as, as in an Ethiopian and personally also, it's my first Olympic and I'm really glad and I'm excited for uh, the result I achieved. Right here. You and Crumley Athletics Weekly. Keely, can you tell us what, if you are able to actually enjoy the race itself and how you break that down? You know, it's, it's a high pressure environment. Are you actually able to take sort of pleasure in before you get to the line? Um, there's definitely a sense of relief when it's over, for sure. You know, there's a lot of tension going on and we're all fighting for the same position. Uh, but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the, having a crowd this time. That was absolutely incredible. Like the amount of Brits in the stadium was amazing. It almost felt like a home Olympics for myself. Um, so I was super pleased just to come out here and put that together. But I did enjoy it as much as it is very nerve wracking and it's a really big occasion for all of us. Um, but yeah, if you, if you can't enjoy at least a little bit of it, then uh, you're not doing too great. Right. Oh, yeah, I well, <coughs> excuse me. Weldon Johnson, Let's Run dot com. Keely, you said it didn't go exactly how you planned. Like, what was your strategy? And also, I guess this goes to Mary as well. You guys were sort of fighting for the lead at that one point. Like, Mary, what was your what was your strategy as well? For both. Yeah, for both. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, um, I felt like it probably could have been a bit harder through the first 400, but like I said, you can't predict what happens in the final and I just wanted to stay out of trouble and I didn't mind being at the front, I felt comfortable there. Um, I could feel Mary coming on my shoulder the last 300 metres and I knew people were piling up behind and I just wanted to stay strong and as long as I gave it everything towards the line that's all I could do and it was enough today. Uh, I can say when we started running the first lap uh, we were well until the the last 600 meters we were together and uh, my body was good and the kill was good. So the last 100 meters I, we were together but Kili pushed herself and uh, he went. So I, I was uh, like, I'm not moving but I will push myself up to the limit and I'm happy the way the competition was because when you are in the stadium and uh, I heard some sound, you know, when the stadium is full. I was like, what is not happening? When uh, I literally the only than 50 meters to go. But everything was good. Uh, Keely, David Coverdell from Daily Mail. Um, hi, I'm just here. Hi. Um, what was that thing you were wearing last night the, from the Nike Innovation team uh, that you put on your Instagram? It looked quite funky. Um, <laughs> and also, how are you going to celebrate? Are you going to party? Are you going to go on holiday after this? Um, I was, yeah, uh, well, Nike are absolutely great. They're always trying to be ahead of the game in terms of recovery strategies and things like that. But it was just literally an ice vest, but it was heat and ice. So one button you press for heat, one you press for ice. But after an ice bath, I was freezing, so I was using the heat. And then the boots that I had on um, were like a form of compression and heat. 
they're kind of supposed to be good for recovery. I was trying them out. They're very new to me. I literally got them a few days ago, but yeah, they're always they're always doing great things, and it was nice of them to give it to me to try. Um, and my family is going to Marbella, so I'm going to go join them for a couple of days and just relax. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll see them after this. Just to yeah, have a have a nice time. Right here. Mm. Okay. from bizoathletics.com. Uh, I want to forward a question to Tsinge, and I want to make it in Amharic. Go ahead. Tsinge, uh, the Olympic year uh, medal, I'm going to make it in Ethiopia. I'm going to make it in the Olympic program. I'm going to make it in the Olympic program. I'm going to make it in the Olympic program. I'm going to make it in the Olympic program. I have heard. Just translate the question first, and then we'll let. See the answer. In case I miss something, I, I will have to. Um, that's okay. Um, after this, are you going to celebrate and go back home, or um, what was the other question? I'm sorry. Okay, is she going to cel are you going to celebrate with your family in the village or do you have any other plan on arrival in Ethiopia waiting for you? Okay. Okay, I thank God first and um, I will go back to Ethiopia and I will continue my, uh, my trainings and also uh, I hope the Ethiopian People are going to be happy because this is the second silver medal we brought to our country this time. Last call for questions in the Women's 800. We'll do one last one from Sean here. Sorry, Kitty, I know it's been a long night. Um, you crossed the line, you gazed up, you did a right pump with your right fist, and then you seemed to let out some kind of roar. Was that a release of pressure or was it a kind of a happiness? How? How were you sort of feeling in that that moment? Was it more, the, oh my God, finally I've, got, I've shaken my demons or was it, yes, I've won gold or both? Um, probably a little bit of everything. Like I think, I think Sebco said it best once that the first thing you feel is relief because it is such a pressurised couple of days and, you know, you work so hard for these literal four days to go perfectly right. Um, so a little bit of that and just the excitement that I've finally done something 